Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TNG and I'm back with a brand new video. Um, I know I've been away for like a week, but I decided to take a week off. The kids were on holiday, so I decided to chill, take a week off, but I'm back with a new video. And this time we're gonna be focusing on traction control and how you can set your hotkeys up to get the best TC setting for whatever car you're in and make sure you can maximize the car's acceleration without having the traction control bogging down and killing your lap times. But anyway, guys, let's get stuck into the video. So as we approach the hairpin, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I leave my TC at 5. Look how long the car bogs down for. Look how long the traction control sort of stays yellow for. We do the same again in the last corner. And again, you can see the car bogging down with the TC. So we're going to do another lap and then this time what we're going to do is we're going to flick the TC down to one just so you guys can see how much quicker it cuts out that sort of bogging down stage of the acceleration which is going to help you guys get closer to the guys in front. Obviously different cars accelerate differently so not every car is going to kick the traction in as much but some cars especially if you really want to get good exits. You kind of need to make sure you're able to kill that sort of TC just bogging in every five seconds when you want to accelerate because traction control gains you a lot more time than you think. Having the correct traction settings. For me, whenever I have the traction too high, I lose so much time. So this time out, we're gonna we're gonna cut the TC down on the exits. Right, as we come up to the hairpin again. As soon as the car is straight enough, I'll put the TC down to one. Back up to five. Same thing again. And you can see the traction control literally just cuts out as soon as I pull it down to one now you have to find the right balance you don't want to pull it too low to where the back of the car is squirming around and you're having to hold on to it because you're going to end up losing time doing that as well so if you can put the traction down to maybe one or two then the traction shouldn't really cut in you shouldn't really get that yellow state where it's you know the traction is trying to find its, its best way to accelerate um, you kind of want to have it low enough to where it completely just cuts out the traction control without having you squirming all over the gaff. I found that one is good. I tried zero before, but zero, sometimes the back end can step out and then you're, you're sliding anyway. So you, you kind of want to just make sure you have it low enough to do the job, but high enough not to completely kill um, any advantage that you may take. But anyway, guys, we're going to jump into the settings and... Um, sort out our hotkeys so what you want to do is jump across to the control menu and as as you can see on the right hand side scroll down till you reach the tc settings there's all types of settings you can use depending on how much buttons you've got on your controller loads of hotkeys you can set up but you can see mine um is set to tc5 for my button 10 which is on my left hand side and on the right hand side i have button 9 which is um, on the right side of my wheel. And I set that to TC1, which makes it very easy for me to switch between TC on the exits of corners. Uh, my, my thumbs are in the correct position, so I don't actually have to move my hands off of the wheel. And it makes it a lot more comfortable for me. Depending on what wheel you have and how many buttons you have on your wheel, it's very, very easy to switch between the traction controls. And once you've done that and set up how you want, you can go ahead to the bit where you can type in what car you're using, type in Ferrari 296 and hit the save. So that means anytime I'm in the Ferrari, I don't have to mess around. I can just scroll down and load the 296 setup and I'll have all my um, all my TC settings, my force feedback settings just loaded up separately. Now let's say if I'm in a different car and I want to load up different settings, I can actually save different cars under different names. So every car uses a different sort of um, TC setting. For me, the Lambo is a slightly different. So I load up the Lambo. You can see my T6 
TC settings are actually four and one because the Lambo doesn't need as much traction control as the Ferrari. So you can see I can just load up the, the, the Lambo Evo if I want to, load up the Ferrari if I need to. Any car you're in, you wanna make sure you're setting up the TC individually for each car. So just save it and then you can move on to the next car. Um, it helps you because you don't need to actually waste time every time you get into a new car loading up this setup changing this changing that just make sure you're saving each car under it each different preset for instance the, the lamborghini i don't use as much force feedback so i can put the gain down to like 47 save it for the lamborghini and then that way when i switch between the two cars um the lamborghini will have sort of a much lower force feedback because it, it needs less and the ferrari i'm using 60 gain so switch back down to the Lambo. You can see I'm using 47 and the TC settings are set how I like it in the Lambo. So every time you jump in a different car, just make sure you've got each thing set up and that's perfectly going to help you track um, your traction control and map your traction control correctly for each different car without having to always feel like you need to make alterations. And trust me, guys, TC is so important because you can gain so much time just by having the right TC settings. Don't put your TC settings too high you want to make sure your TC settings are high enough where you're not losing the back end of the car but also low enough to where the car's not doing everything for you okay um, you still need to sort of manage your right foot a little bit because if you have the TC too high it's just going to bog down and you're just not going to gain any time also make sure your your TC low settings which is where I've got the TC set to one make sure that's not too low otherwise the back of your car will be stepping out all over the place and then you're going to end up using, losing time anyway I found between two and one is pre pretty much as low as you want to go I tried zero and sometimes I'll get it slightly wrong the back end would step out or lose a bunch of time so you want to make sure you get the, the settings correctly and once you've tested and seen what's right for you then you should be good to go anyway guys this is cryptic tng like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace